Hello, hello, good day everyone. Welcome to Mathematics 4, Water 4, week number 3. So, we are now in quarter 4, week number 3 of our most essential learning. Our learning competencies for this day. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to visualize the volume of solid figures in different situations using non-standard example marbles and etc and standard units and find the volume of rectangular prism using a, a cubic centimeter and cubic uh, meter so let's start let's have a drill first so you have one unit to find the product of each of the question we're going to write the answer in the comment section below for number one 12 multiplied by 6 so you have one minute your timer starts now so number one 12 multiplied by 6 uh, number 2 is 36 multiplied by 25 Number 3 is 32 multiplied by 9 and number 4, 71 multiplied by 14 and number 5, 43 multiplied by 32. So, you may type in your answer in the comment section below. So, you have 33 seconds left. Okay. So we have 20 seconds left, 15 seconds, wait for a few pills, 10 seconds, 5 seconds, and that's it. So let's reveal the answer for number 1. We have 72. For number 2, we have 900. For number 3, we have 288. And for number 4, we have uh, 994. And for number 5, we have 7,776. So I hope you get the correct answer, grade 4 pupils. So now, let's proceed to our main topic for this day. So... To visualize the volume of the solid figures in different situations using non-standard and standard units. So, let's discuss first a volume. So, a volume is amount of space occupied by an object. So, to further analyze the volume, we need to uh, define first the 3D or three-dimensional figure. So, Let's define first a line segment. A line segment has a length. So we can uh, assume this one as a one unit. And it is a one dimension. And a square. So this line segment can be formed into a square. It has a length and also a width. So, so this a figure is a two-dimensional figure. It can be get a area or a perimeter. Now, so let's have a cube. So cube has a length, has a width, and has a height. So this figure is what we call a three-dimensional figure because it has a length and width and height and to find the volume of the cube we have volume is equal to length multiplied by the width and multiplied by the height so this would be the area of the base multiplied by the height so a three-dimensional figure has a length width and a height so in order to uh, find the volume of the cube uh, follow this formula and the unit of measurement is in a cubic unit now let's have a non-standard unit of measurement so here are some example of non-standard unit of measurement because 
uh, a non-standard uh, unit of measurement is can only get an estimated measurement. A cup can only a uh, a cup it can be used to measure, but it can't be uh, produce a uh, exact uh, measurement like a marble, a rope a cliff, a razor, a marker, marble, a clip, and a pen. So these are uh, some examples of non-standard unit of measurement. Like for this figure, I use the ball in the first box. So as you can see, it, uh, it involves a... Uh, some small balls, ping pong balls. So the box contains so many ping pong ping pong balls, but in the second box, it contain two uh, soccer medium size ball. But in the third box, it contain one basketball ball. So as you can see. The measurement are not exact. So in the first, we have so many wall. The second is two and the third is one. So the measurement are not exact. So that would be a non-standard unit of measurement. But in the standard unit of measurement, we used to do it using a cubic millimeter, cubic decimeter, and cubic centimeter, and also a cubic uh, meter, also a, a liter. Now, so let's proceed to finding the volume of a rectangular prism using a cubic uh, meter and a cubic uh, a cubic centimeter rather and cubic meter. Then I also discuss how to find the uh, volume of the cube. So let's proceed first the volume of the cube. Uh, volume of the cube is a solid figure that has a six faces and are all squares and all faces are congruent and parallel. So this would be the uh, figure of the cube. This would be a Rubik's cube, uh, ice cube, and a dice. So a cube can be expressed using this side, this side, and this side. So it includes three sides. So this side is would be the length. This would be, uh, this would be the height, the length, and the width. And if the dimensions are three sides are equal, then the, the container is a cube. And when we say a solid figure that has a six spaces that are all rectangle it is a rectangular prism it is bases are parallel and congruent so these are some examples of a rectangular prism a box of tissue a books a box a med kit box a gift of box and a treasure box so that would be some example of a rectangular prism now, so this should be a rectangular prism. It has a length, width, and a height. So I fill it with some blocks, cubes inside it. So that would be the representation of a volume. So one uh, cube is equivalent to one cubic unit. So if the dimensions is as a length and width and height and are not equal then the container is a rectangular prism so as you can see they are not equal this would be 5 1 2 uh, 4 rather 1 2 3 4 the height is 4 the length is 1 2 3 4 and the width is 1 2 3 so let's proceed by finding the volume so of the cube we have this one 
So the cube is contain three layers. So the first layer contain a three by three. So it would be nine cubic unit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if I going to uh, add all together, we have three layers. We have three multiplied by nine. The answer is 27 cubic unit. So that would be the visual representation of finding the volume of the cube. Now, uh, there is another way to solve for the volume of the cube. So the volume of the cube is equal to the area of the base multiplied by the height. In order to find the area of the base, this would be a side multiplied by side. So side multiplied by side multiplied by height. Height is represented by the side. So side multiplied by side multiplied by side or equivalent to B is equal to S cubed. So that would be the formula in finding the area of, uh, of the volume rather of cube. So let's substitute. This would be 3 units for the side. 3 units another for the another side and the height is 3 units. So 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. The answer is 27 cubic units. So that would be the process. Now for rectangular prism, this should be the example. We have 3 for the uh, four, uh, cubic uh, unit for the length and 4 cubic unit for the height. And for the width is 3 cubic unit so this would be one two three four layers so four multiplied by three the answer is uh, 12 uh, cubic units because one two three four and then multiplied by three this would be 12 and then add it all together so we have 12 12 12 12 the answer is 48 cubic units now uh, this is would be the other way to find the volume of the rectangular prism again area of the base multiplied by the height so for the area of the base of rectangular prism is this would be length multiplied by the width so length multiplied by the width multiplied by the height so uh, or b is equal to length times width times height now this would be four units this should be length this would be the width is 3 units and the height is 4 units. So 4 is the length, 3 is the width, 4 is the height. Multiply it all together, the answer is 48 cubic units. So that would be the process on how to find the volume of the rectangular prism. So let's have some example. So we have... Uh, example number one, we have five centimeter, five uh, centimeter. So like I said earlier, uh, one uh, cube is equivalent to one cubic centimeter. So this would be the formula, side multiplied by side multiplied by side, or B is equal to S cube. So substitute the value of the side. We have five times five times five. The answer is 125 cubic centimeter and then for number two we have three centimeter six centimeter and two centimeter dimensions of the rectangular prism so one cubic one cube is equivalent to one cubic centimeter again so this would be the formula the formula is length times width times height because this would be a rectangular prism so substitute it so the value of Length is 6, the width is 2, the height is 3. So this would be the substituted value. Then multiply 6 times 2 is 12, 12 times 3, the answer is 36 cubic centimeter. Now let's proceed to example number 4. Example number 4, we have this illustration. So the formula is length times width times height. So substitute it. So the value of the length is 9. And the width is 6. And the height is 4. So 9 times 6 times 4. The answer is 260 cubic 
centimeter. And for example, number four, so this would be a cube. So this would be the formula. B is equal to S cube or sine times sine times sine. So substitute the value. We have 8 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 8. Or you're going to multiply the length, the width, and the height. So volume is equal to 512 cubic centimeter. For number and for our activity for today, you're going to answer 20 seconds of each of the uh, following uh, number. For number one, how many cubes of one centimeter can you fit in this box? This would be the box. We have seven centimeter, four centimeter, and five centimeter dimensions. You have 20 seconds. This would be the choices. Letter A, 110 cubes. B is 120 cubes. C is 130 cubes. And D is 140 cubes. You have 20 seconds. Your timer starts now. Time's up. The correct answer is letter D, 140 cubes. And then for number 2, how many unit cubes are there in the figure? The choices are A, 50 cubes, B, 40 cubes, C, 35 cubes, and D is 45 cubes. You have 20 seconds. Your timer starts now. Time's up. The correct answer is letter B, 40 cubes. Because if you're going to multiply 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 times 2, the answer is uh, 10. Then 10 multiplied by 4, the answer is 40. Then for number 3, which of the following is not the unit measure for volume? Letter A, 7 cubic. Uh, meter letter B uh, 12,000 cubic decimeter letter C is 23 uh, centimeter squared and letter D is 64 liters you have 20 seconds your timer starts now Time's up. The correct answer is letter C. And then for number 4, change 28 decimeter to, so this would be not our topic for today. So let's proceed for the remember. So to remember, uh, the volume is a space that a solid figure occupies its measure in cubic unit and the volume may be measured in terms of non-standard units and standard units of measurement and the volume of a rectangular prism can be find using uh, the product of its length width and height so that would be our uh, topic for today for your home learning tasks uh, answer what can I do 1 to 5 on your self learning module this should be quarter 4 week number 3 so that's all for today thank you and see you again great for pupils in our next video lesson